Jump, 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 start first grade, jump, 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 start first grade, jump, 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 start first grade, jump, jump, jump. Welcome to Jump Start School. If you've been here before, go ahead and click on your name. If you're new to Jump Start, it's easy. Just start typing your name. When you're done, click on the doorknob. He's more than a mascot, he'll help you a whole lot, he is really super silly, he's Frankie. Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Frankie. I'm the Jump Start mascot. You can always count on me. I really know the ropes. Just click on me for help. There's a lot to do in the classroom. Just click on anything that you see. Just so many questions. The hard ones are the best ones. She's helpful and she's smart. Mrs. Flores. Hi there. I'm Mrs. Flores, your teacher. I'm so glad that you're in my class. If you want to play with me, click on my picture. Click on this picture to play with a friend. Let's play the tick-tock game. We both start here, and the first one to reach 9 o'clock p.m. wins. To start, click on the clock. When the clock stops spinning, click on the square that shows the correct time. It's your turn now. 6 o'clock a.m. That's right! You got it! Now it's my turn. I'll guess that the clock says... 6.30 a.m. Oops! <laughs> guess I was wrong. The clock is showing 6 o'clock a.m. It's your turn now! 9.30 a.m. That's right! You got it! Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 12.30 p.m. That's right! You got it! Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 2 o'clock p.
p.m. That's right! You got it! Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 5.30 p.m. That's right. You got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 7 o'clock p.m. That's right! You got it! Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 9 o'clock p.m. That's right! You got it! You win! I'll get you next time! It's your turn now! Go ahead! This game is now at level 1. Click there to make this game easier. Click there to leave this game the same. Click there to make this game harder. If you want to play with me, let's play the Tick-Tock game. We both start here. And the first one to reach 9 o'clock p.m wins to start click on the clock seven o'clock a.m that's right you got it now it's my turn i know that it's your turn now 10 30 a.m that's right! You got it! Now it's my turn. I'll guess that the clock says 10 o'clock a.m. Oops, <laughs> guess I was wrong. The clock is showing 9.30 a.m. It's your turn now! Go ahead and click on the clock. 1 o'clock p.m. That's right! You got it! Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 4 o'clock p.m. That's right! You got it! Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 6.30 p.m. That's right. You got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. 9 o'clock. P.M. That's right! You got it! You win! I'll get you next time! It's your turn now! This game is... If you want to play with me, it's your turn now. Nope, the clock is showing 8.30 a.m. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. Nope, the clock is showing 7.30 a.m. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your...
Nope, the clock is showing. 8 o'clock, a.m. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn now. That's right, you got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your That's right, you got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your That's right, you got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your That's right, you got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's you. That's right, you got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. It's your turn. That's right, you got it. Now it's my turn. I know that. I won this time. Let's try again. It's your turn. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Welcome to the Hole in the Wall Club. You can tell the band what instruments to use and what song to play. Or you can record and play your own song. Voices. Come back when you've won 100 points. Then I'll let you take one of my fantastic milk caps. Come back when you've won 100 points. Then I'll let you take one of my fantastic milk caps. I'm the conductor, the maestro, you see? Hickory dickory dock. La 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 la. La 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 Old MacDonald La 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 The itsy bitsy spider Woohoo La 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 
the wheels on the bus. La 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 It's raining, it's pouring. La 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 Violins Hickory dickory dock. Old MacDonald. The itsy bitsy spider. Woohoo! <laughs> the wheels on the bus. It's raining, it's pouring. <laughs> Flutes? Dickery dickery duck. <laughs> Old MacDonald. The itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> the wheels on the bus.
It's raining. It's pouring. Trumpets. Dickery dickery dock. Bitsy Bitsy Spider. Woohoo! The wheels on the bus. It's raining, it's pouring. Guitars? Dickery Duck. Old MacDonald. Bitsy Bitsy Spider. Woohoo! It's raining, it's pouring. Good afternoon. Welcome back. To pick a color, click on a paint blob over there. You can use these tools to help make a picture. Blue.
purple. That's a wonderful picture. I couldn't have done better myself. Orange. Your last name isn't Rembrandt, is it? Green! That's a wonderful picture! Click on any scene. Wild jungle. Click on any sticker. Under the sea.
Blow. Land of Dinosaurs! Haunted Castle! Outer space. Red. Green. Gray.
My town. Click there to go back. Click there to throw your picture away. Click there to save your Good afternoon. Welcome back. Let's play the master memory game. To play, match the picture in one box to its name in another. To start, click on any square. Boots. Think. Close. Try again. Think. Think. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it. Time. Gray. Close. Try again. Lap. Time. Close. Try again. Gray. Lap. Close. Try again. Time. Time. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it. Boots. Gray. Not that one. Gray. Gray. Great job. Oh boy. Boots. Lap. Close. Try again. Boots. Boots. Great job. Oh boy. Lap. Lap. Great job. Oh boy. Wall. Wall. Wow. You got them all. Let's play again. Lap. Egg. Close. Try again. Lap. Lap. Great job. Oh boy. Nose. Zero. Close. Try again. Cat. Zero. Close. Try again. Zero, zero. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Egg! Nose! Close! Try again! One, one. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Nose! Cat! Close! Try again! Egg! Cat! <laughs> Not that one! 
Cat. Cat. Ha <laughs> ha. You got it. Egg. Egg. That's right. Nose. Nose. Wow. You got them all. Let's play again. Car. Log. Close. Try again. Coat. Cake. Close. Try again. Coat. Coat. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it. Ear. Log. Close. Try again. Door. Door. Great job. Oh boy. Ear. Log. Close. Try again. Cake. Log. Not that one. Log. Log. Ha <laughs> ha. You got it. Ear. Car. Not that one. Car, car. Great job. Oh boy. Cake. Ear. Close. Try again. Cake, cake. That's right. Ear, ear. Wow, you got them all. Let's play again. I park. Not that one. Sock. Coat. Not that one. Lawn. I close. Try again. Pants. Coat. Not that one. I. Fuck. Not that one. Lawn. Pants. Not that one. Pants. Pants. Ha <laughs> You got it. I. Fuck. Close. Try again. Fuck. Fuck. Great job! Oh boy! Coat. Lawn. Not that one. I. I. <laughs> you got it. Lawn. Coat. Close. Try again. Lawn. Lawn. That's right. Park. Park. That's right. Coat. Coat. Wow, you got them all. Let's play again. Cat. Ear. Not that one. Oven. Ten. Not that one. Ear. Ear. Great job. Oh boy. Pie. Cat. Not that one. Oven. Six. Not that one. Pie. Ten. Close. Try again. Oven. Oven. Great job. Oh boy. Six. Ten. Close. Try again. Pie. Ten. Close. Try again. Ten. Ten. Great job! Oh boy! Cat! 
pie. Close. Try again. Pie. Pie. Ha <laughs> ha. You got it. Cat. Six. Close. Try again. Six. Six. Great job. Oh boy. Cat. Cat. Wow. You got them all. Let's play again. This game is now at... Let's play the master... Monkey. Mouse. Close. Try again. Pickle. Eight. Close. Try again. Mouse. Mouse. That's right. Monkey. Eight. Not that one. Cake. Eight. Close. Try again. Book. Pickle. Close. Try again. Book. Cake. Close. Try again. Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> you got it. Pickle. Cake. Close. Try again. Eight. Pickle. Close. Try again. Pickle. Pickle. <laughs> you got it. Cake. Eight. Close. Try again. Eight. Eight. Ha <laughs> ha. You got it. Cake. Cake. Ha <laughs> ha. You got it. Book. Book. Wow. You got them all. Let's play again. Good afternoon. Welcome back. <clears throat> Strike three, you're out! Look at all these fun books. Click on the book that you want to read. Mother Goose Rhymes. This part of the book is called The Table of Contents. It lists all the stories that are in this book. Click on the story that you want to read. Humpty Dumpty Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Whoa, 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 whoa. What word rhymes with wall? Car, baseball bat, doll, egg. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Jack be nimble. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. What word rhymes with candle? King. Handle. Crayon. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. What frightened Miss Muffet? Mouse, spider, snake, dog. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home. 
wagging their tails behind them. What did Little Bo Peep lose? Sheep, mouse, dog. Correct! Little Jack Horner, Little Jack Horner sat in a corner, eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I! Where did Little Jack Horner sit? Table, bed, corner. Correct! Pat a cake. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. <coughs> What did the baker's man make? Cake, hot dog, broccoli. Correct! Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. <laughs> <laughs> Who went up the hill? Little Bo Peep, Jack and Jill. Little Miss Muffet, Humpty Dumpty. Correct! Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. What ran up the clock? Cat, mouse, dog. Correct! Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. <laughs> when Georgie kissed them, what did the girls do? Run away, cry, laugh. That's right! Hey diddle diddle. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. What did the cow jump over? Cat, dog, moon, fiddle. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! A hog and a frog on a jog. Pap the Dog by Mark Beckwith I have a dog I call Pap, who likes to sit on my lap. He wants to be fed when I am in bed, so I just toss Pap a scrap. Pap the dog is quite small, but he can stand on top of a ball. He whines and he begs, up on two legs. I do hope that Pap will not fall. Can you finish this sentence? I have a dog I call Pap, who likes to sit on my blank chair. Correct! The Size Poem by Mark Beckwith My pet pig, he's huge, he's so big. Oh, how he likes to eat. When pig has his lunch, he eats such a bunch that he cannot even see his feet. <laughs> My pet cat is not very fat. She's fine, not big and round. In fact, She's so thin, just bones, fur, and skin. She probably weighs less than a pound. The oddest one yet is not even a pet. Not fat, not thin, not small, but the muscles he's got. And he's got quite a lot. It's my dad! He's seven feet tall! What pet is bigger, the pig 
or the cat? Pig. Correct. The ball that Megan threw by Mark Beckwith. Megan Wong had a ball that she liked to throw. Once she pitched it hard and fast, the ball would really go. One day, Megan threw the ball much further than before, further than the picket fence, past the street, and more. The ball kept going in the air, beyond the big oak tree, beyond the flock of birds up there, beyond what I could see. Perhaps the ball just kept on going, lost without a trace. Do you think the ball that Megan threw went to outer space? What word has the same beginning sound as the word ball, horse, book, lake? Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Congratulations! You just won a brand new reading cap. Click on the cap that you want to take. Click on the left and right arrows to see more caps. You now have one reading cap. There are 30 in all. See if you can collect them all. I Cannot Eat This Broccoli by Glynis Campbell I cannot eat this broccoli. I have a wobbly tooth. And chewing it would only make my tooth even more loose. I cannot eat these peas or corn. I have no teeth to chew them. I have to keep the few I have. I can't afford to lose them. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot eat these Brussels sprouts, I'm very sad to say. I cannot eat the pickled beets or summer squash souffle. I cannot eat the carrots or the turnips or tomatoes. I cannot eat the lima beans. I cannot eat potatoes. Mm -mm. What's that you say? Peach pie you say? Peach pie if I can finish? Well, maybe if I'm careful I could try a little spinach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finish the sentence. I have a wobbly blank elephant. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Do not grab the pot by Mark Beckwith. Son, do not grab that pot. Why not, Dad? Why not? That pot is too hot. How hot, Dad? How hot? A lot, son. A lot. Dad, how hot is a lot? A lot is just hot. Hot turns to warm when it cools. But how cool is cool? If you feel cool... Get out of the pool. Yes, but if you feel cool... Pull on socks made of wool. Son, if you feel cool... Then wipe out that drool! Okay, I will do the asking. What is cooler than cool? It's cold, I'm no fool. Okay, what is cold? Snow that you hold. What else is cold? You and you school. Son. So I am told. Frost is cold. Ice is cold. I am not cold. I am warm. But why are you so hot? I am not. Okay, Dad. Now I know what is hot and what is not. I will not grab that pot. Can you finish this sentence? That pot is too hot. How hot, Dad? How blank, big, cold, short, hot? That's right! The Hog by Mark Beckwith 
A frog and a hog went for a jog, but at a log the hog had to stop. Hop went the frog over the log, but the poor hog did not hop. <coughs> Along ran a man. He said, I am Dan. Hop the log, hog, if you can. The hog said to Dan, I do not think I can. Dan, will you give me a hand? Hmm. <laughs> Dan said to Hog, You are not a frog, but do not be stopped by that log. Since hogs are big pigs, and all pigs can dig, just dig and go under the log. <laughs> Under the log dug the hog, and he went on with his jog. The hog said thanks to the man. Now when the hog gets to a log, he can go on with his jog. Yes, he can. <coughs> Where did the frog and the hog stop? At the blank car log gate. <laughs> you got it. A bedtime story. Roy G. Biff by Glynis Campbell. I met a boy named Roy G. Biff. Can you guess where he might live? On a rainbow in the sky, in a castle way up high. Well, he took me home last March, pointing out the rainbow's arch. All the colors that you see get their names, he said, from me, for I'm Roy G. Biv, he cried. Then he let me peek inside. See the stripes? The boy exclaimed. Match the letters of my name. <coughs> R is red, the roses wear it. O is orange, like a carrot. Y is yellow, as a bee. G is green, like a baobab tree. B is blue, a robin in flight. I is indigo, sky at night. V is violet, like the flowers. And all of them come out after showers. R-O-Y-G-B-I-V! R-O-Y-G-B-I-V! Roy G. Biv then shook my hand. I must go. You understand. The clouds are moving from the sky. Time for us to say goodbye. So I watched him fade away. I know he'll come back someday. If you look where rainbows live, maybe you'll see Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Who is the main character of this story? King, Queen, Roy G. Biv. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Peace Man by Mark Beckwith This is a story about the superhero Peace Man. Peace Man was dressed in a shiny gray outfit. He had long black hair with bright green eyes. His powers seemed to come from his eyes and the way that he spoke. Peace Man had the power to solve any problem, stop any fight, and make any two enemies become friends. But his powers did not seem to work on many people at once, but only on one or two people at a time. One day, Peace Man came to a school where there was a problem. A group of kids wearing blue jackets were yelling at a bunch of kids wearing black jackets. The black jackets were screaming too. They needed the help of Peace Man. Peace Man stepped between the black jackets and the blue jackets and said, Look at me and listen to me. Most of the angry kids looked into his eyes. Some even started to calm down. But just then, Tony, a tall boy with the blue jackets, yelled, Forget it! 
Zack, in the black jacket, shouted, Forget you, Blue Jacket! <laughs> Peace Man turned his eyes toward Tony and Zack. Using his peace powers, he talked gently to the two boys. Soon, Peace Man got Tony and Zack talking to each other in a gentle way. After a while, both boys were laughing. Tony went back to the Blue Jackets and spoke to his friends. Zack returned to the Black Jackets and talked. It seemed that none of them could remember why they were angry at the other group of kids. They just learned to hate each other. <laughs> now the Black Jackets didn't seem so bad to the Blue Jackets. And the Blue Jackets did not seem like bad kids to the Black Jackets. In fact, thanks to Peace Man, they all got together and formed a hockey team. They called it Black and Blue. What word starts with the same sound as Peace Man? Door, puppy, king, rake. That's right! The Friendship by Glynis Campbell there's no one here to play with, Timmy shouted to the sky. There's no one here to play with me, he muttered with a sigh. I think I'll build a rocket ship and fly out into space. There has to be a friend for me in some remoter place. <coughs> he rocketed to Mercury, the planet near the sun. But it was far too hot for friends, and he found not a one. Tim flew his ship to Venus. It was filled with poison gas. And Mars was far too dusty. So he piloted on past. He looked for friends on Jupiter. The planet was too big. Then he got caught in Saturn's rings and did a whirligig. And Uranus and Neptune had no friends on them at all. Pluto, furthest from the sun, was cold and bleak and small. <coughs> so sadly, Timmy turned his ship and headed back for home. He'd found no friends in outer space, and still he was alone. But as he flew his ship to Earth, it bumped and rattled hard. It tumbled from the sky and crashed into his neighbor's yard. <coughs> and standing in the clearing smoke, he found another child. A boy building a rocket ship. Tim saw him and he smiled. I wouldn't waste my time, he said. No, not if I were you. There are friends enough on planet Earth. I'm Tim. How do you do? What planet did Timmy go to first? Mercury, Saturn, Sun, Moon. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Bedtime Story by Glynis Campbell Be careful when you read in bed, for I have seen it happen. I've seen a girl forget to close her book while she was napping. And do you know what happened as the wind blew through the pages? The girl fell into chapter one. Into the Middle Ages. Oh, she had great adventures, saving castles, slaying dragons, until she blew to chapter two with pioneers in wagons. And then while she was heading west, across the blazing prairie, she stumbled into Chapter 3, where it was dark and scary. Ah! 
A pack of witches in a cave were cooking up a potion when she escaped to chapter four and landed in the ocean. A pirate ship came sailing by to pull her from the water. The pirate captain drew his sword, but just before he caught her... She dove right into Chapter 5, where history would spin her into the claws of a dinosaur that wanted girl for dinner. But just before the nasty beast could clamp its jaws around her, the wind picked up and closed her book, and home is where I found her. You may not be so fortunate if you don't heed my warning. So close your bedtime book tonight. You'll thank me in the morning. What letter is missing from this word? R. U. A. Ha ha! You got it! The candy machine. The First Circus Act by Mark Towner Ladies and gentlemen, the ringmaster said, out first are the horses, but the clown came instead. <laughs> no, no, cried the ringmaster, as he tried to explain, you come out last, like the caboose on a train. I see, said the clown. I'm not first in the show. I come on last, before the crowd goes. You'll come out last. That's right. You're not first, you're last, so now go. So we can get on with the first of our show. What came out first? The clown, tightrope walker, or elephant? Clown, tightrope walker, elephant. That's right! Shopping with Dollars by Mark Beckwith. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can buy four shoes with all of this money. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. I'd like a grand hat that looks kind of sporty. Forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. I'll buy this huge purse. It sure is nifty. Hee-hee. <laughs> 65, 70, 75, 80. I take a large dress cause I'm a large lady. 85, 90, 95, 100. Now I'm a well-dressed cow, big and rotundred. Which is the right way to count to 15 by fives? 5, 15, 10. 5, 10, 15. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Baby Toes by Glynis Campbell. Ten little babies wearing no clothes, giggling and wriggling and counting their toes. Each little baby has ten little toes, ten little piggies right under my nose. Ten, twenty, thirty. This baby's toes are dirty. Forty, fifty, sixty. This baby's very wiggly. Seventy, eighty, ninety. This baby's toes are tiny. <coughs> Ten little babies with one hundred toes. Tickle them, tickle them. Ouch! Kicked my nose. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Which is the right way to count to forty by tens? 20, 30, 40, 
fifty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty, ten. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it. Cents spent by Glennis Campbell. I've got a penny, a shiny copper penny. I've got a penny. What can I buy? One cent, one cent. I can buy a gumball. One cent, one cent. Now my penny's all spent. I've got a nickel, a shiny nickel, nickel. I've got a nickel. What can I buy? Five cents, five cents. I can buy a sticker. Five cents, five cents. Now my nickel's all spent. I've got a dime, a shiny silver dime. I've got a dime. What can I buy? Ten cents, ten cents. I can buy a pencil. Ten cents, ten cents. Now my money's all spent. In the story, what can you buy for a penny? Gumball, lollipop, hot dog, dog. That's right. Ten Little Monkeys by Glennis Campbell. Ten little monkeys in a line, waiting to swing on the big fat vine. <laughs> the first little monkey is very fat. The second little monkey has a Panama hat. The third little monkey has to sneeze. The fourth little monkey is slapping his knees. The fifth little monkey has a great big grin. The sixth little monkey has a sharp hat pin. The seventh little monkey is counting his toes. The eighth little monkey is picking his nose. The ninth little monkey yells, "Not a peep!" The tenth little monkey is fast asleep. <laughs> what word goes with the number one? First, fourth, ninth. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it. Popcorn popping by Glynis Campbell. Get the popcorn, get the pot, pour the oil, make it hot. There's no stopping popcorn popping. Just a little makes a lot. <laughs> popcorn popping one by one. There's enough for everyone. One, two, three, four. No, don't eat it off the floor. <laughs> popcorn popping two by two. Some for me and some for you. Two, four, six, eight. Not for doggy. Whoops, too late. <laughs> Popcorn popping three by three. More for you and more for me. Three, six, nine, twelve. Hey, don't eat it all yourself. <laughs> Popcorn popping four by four. Everybody wants some more. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Time to lick our fingers clean. <laughs> Popcorn popping five by five, hopping up like it's alive. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's enough now. We've had plenty. Which is the right way to count by twos? Five, ten, fifteen, two, four, six, eight, ten. Correct. The Candy Machine by Mark Beckwith. If I give you five pennies, will you give me a nickel? Mara asked Beth as she held out her brown coins. Yes, said Beth. Five pennies are the same as one nickel. But why do you need a nickel? I want to buy candy from that machine, Mara said as she made the coin trade. The machine will not take pennies. Mara thanked Beth 
and went to buy her candy. Beth, if I give you ten pennies, will you give me a dime? Mara asked when she came back. I need more coins to buy the candy. Sure, Beth said. Ten pennies are the same as a dime. Here you go. Mara thanked Beth, then walked to the candy machine once more. Oh, Beth, said Mara when she returned. I still need more coins for the candy machine. Can I give you 25 pennies for a quarter? Mara held out her hand with the 25 pennies and took the quarter from Beth. Beth, Mara called out as she walked back. I know, said Beth. You want to trade another five pennies for a nickel. No, said Mara. Then you want to trade two nickels for a dime, said Beth. No, said Mara. Do you want a quarter for five nickels, asked Beth. Mara shook her head. Well, then you must want to trade two dimes and a nickel for a quarter, said Beth. Not at all, said Mara. I just want to know if you want to eat some of this candy. How many pennies is the same as one dime? Ten, seven, three. Correct! Counting Eggs by Glennis Campbell Farmer Brown is counting eggs with his country cousin. How many have the chickens laid? Hope he finds a dozen. <laughs> With a buck buck here at the break of dawn, Farmer Brown has just found one. With a cheap cheap there and a cockadoodle-doo, Farmer Brown has just found two. With a cluck cluck here cause the range is free, Farmer Brown has just found three. Mm-mm. With the chick chick there by the hen house door, Farmer Brown has just found four. With a buck buck here by the old beehive, Farmer Brown has just found five. With the cheap cheap there from the baby chicks, Farmer Brown has just found six. <laughs> With a cluck cluck here while the tractor's revving, Farmer Brown has just found seven. Chick chick there by the farmyard gate, Farmer Brown has just found eight. With a buck buck here by the pumpkin vine, Farmer Brown has just found nine. <laughs> With a cheap cheap there from the old gray hen, Farmer Brown has just found ten. With a cluck cluck here all the way to heaven, Farmer Brown has found eleven. Chick chick there on the highest shelf, Farmer Brown has just found twelve. <laughs> A dozen, a dozen, he's found an even dozen. But wait, what's this? Could it be an extra egg? No. Nah. With a crack crack here by the country cousin, Farmer Brown has an even dozen. How many eggs are there in a dozen? Twelve, seven, one. Correct. The Lark in the Park Babies by Mark Towner Female dogs have puppies. A kitten is a baby cat. But there are more baby animal names than just that. A cub is a baby to a mama bear. A goat has a kid for which she must care. <laughs> a deer has a baby called a fawn, you see. Mommy and Daddy had a baby. They called it me. What kind of animal has a baby called a cub? 
Deer. Bear. Dog. Correct. Bears by Mark Towner. Many bears are big. Some of them are brown. And some sleep all winter when there's snow on the ground. Some bears live up north. They are white and love the cold. They are called polar bears and are very playful, I'm told. All bears have fur coats that always stay put. But they never wear shoes, because they're always barefoot. <laughs> what kind of bears are white and love the cold? Polar bear, teddy bear, koala bear. Correct! Animal Talk by Mark Towner While walking through the zoo, I heard the animals talk. Ba ba, said the sheep, and the parrot said squawk. <laughs> the snake said hi with a long, long hiss, and the lion roared. Now get ready for this. I heard the hyena, he started to laugh. When I stood to listen to the long neck giraffe, the sound started low, and the giraffe is so tall, I heard the sound later, or never at all. <laughs> what letter is missing from this word? E. Correct! Animals on the Move by Mark Towner The bunny doesn't run, he moves with a hop. But the horse can't hop, he gallops. Clip clop. A snake could never gallop. He can only slide. And an eagle in the air will flap and then glide. Now here's one to guess. See if you know who starts off crawling, then walks. That's right, it's you. What animal hops? Bunny, snake, eagle, horse. That's right! Sid the Slug by Mark Beckwith. Sid was a small slug. Sid liked to sit in the sand at the salty sea. Sid swam in the salty sea. But the salty sea made Sid sick. So Sid was sad. You see... Salt is not so good for small slugs. Soon, Sid saw a snail. The snail said, Say, I am Sam. I see that you are a sad slug. Sid said, Yes, I love to swim in the salty sea. But the salt seems to make small slugs sort of sick. Sam was a smart snail, so Sam said to Sid, Go sled on the snow. There is no salt in snow, and snow is so soft like sand. Snow is solid. So you don't swim in snow, but you can slide a sled on snow. Hey. Sid set off to seek the snow. Sid saw snow and slid with the sled. Sid loved the snow. Sid liked to slide on the sled, just as he liked to swim in the sea. But Sid did not get sick in the snow, so Sid sat on the sled and smiled. Hey. What did Sam the Snail tell Sid the Slug to do so that he wouldn't be sick? Ghost correct! The Lark in the Park by Glynis Campbell I am a bird. I'm called a lark. I was born in this nest in this tree in this park. From an egg I was hatched in this nest in this tree. And my mother and father took good care of me. My mother sat by me when I was too cool. And my father brought worms till my tummy was full.
I ate and I ate till I grew big and strong. And I got all my feathers and learned the lark song. And now I'm too big for this nest in this tree. Winter is coming, so south we must flee. I know I'm a bird, and I know I must fly. I know I must try out my wings in the sky. So I've tried and I've tried, week after week. I've flapped and I've flapped and I've crashed on my beak. Enough of this flapping, enough of this fuss. If I must go south, then I'm taking the bus. Where was the lark born? Bird's nest, hospital, zoo. That's right. A pretty planet. A pretty planet by Mark Beckwith. As I fly in my rocket ship, black space is all I see. Nothing but darkness and a few white stars far away. Wait, I see a little ball. It is a blue ball. I will take my rocket ship closer. <laughs> that blue ball is a planet with great oceans of water. It is white at the top and bottom of the ball. That must be frozen water. I do see some areas of land. I will take my rocket ship closer. <laughs> I see lots of green. That must be plants and trees. I have never seen anything like it. I will take my rocket ship closer. <laughs> now I see animals and people moving around. They are brown, red, yellow, black, and white. So much color. This is such a pretty planet. I wonder what it is called. In the story, what are the areas of green on the earth? Sky, trees and plants, animals. That's right. The New Boy in Class by Mark Beckwith. A new boy starred in my class today. His name is Juan. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He seems nice. Juan told me his mom and dad are from a place called Mexico. Juan is lucky. He speaks English like me, and he also speaks Spanish. <laughs> Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He says some words differently than I do. He loves to play soccer just like me. Juan's hair is black, and my hair is light brown. He likes to be silly. I like to be silly too. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. I guess everyone is that way. I hope he will be my friend. What letter is missing from this word? O, K, G, N. That's right. I am Irish by Mark Beckwith. How are you? My name is Jill. Let us be friends, if you will. I live in the fog, beyond the wet bog, in the valley near the castle on the hill. Potatoes I plant, and I dig. Over there, near the barn, is my pig. When the fiddlers play on St. Patrick's Day, that pig will dance quite a jig. Look at the hair on my head. See it is wavy and red. 
My friend, I am proud, and I say it aloud. I am Irish, born and bred. What word doesn't sound like fog, bog, log, car, dog? Correct! Vegemite by Glynis Campbell Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. Come and we'll sail ya to Australia. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We like barbecues, we have kangaroos. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We have crocodiles push for miles and miles. Vegemite, Vegemite, we eat Vegemite. We have billabongs, we sing bonza songs in Australia. Dreaming all day and night of Vegemite. Vegemite, we love Vegemite. <coughs> what letter is missing from this word? E R P. Correct. Congo Safari by Glynis Campbell. Come with me to Congo, to the River Zaire. Come with me to Congo, join me on safari. Come on Jack, come on Jill, come on Tim and Tamara. You can shoot the animals, but only with your camera. See the baby monkeys swinging through the trees? See the hippopotamus mud up to his knees. Look at all the elephants splashing in the water. There's a mother chimpanzee playing with her daughter. Come with me to Congo, to the great savanna. Come with me to Congo, Tim and Kate and Hannah. Look at all the wildebeests feeding on the grasses. See the great rhinoceros? Careful as he passes. There's a zebra on the plains and his friend giraffe. If you listen closely, you can hear hyenas laugh. Come with me to Congo, to my people's city. Come with me to Brazzaville. It is very pretty. <coughs> See the chickens in our yard and the goats and sheep? We raise pigs for market day. I have one to keep. Uh-oh, do you see that beast? Fiercer than the others? Stay away. Don't get too close. It's my baby brother. <coughs> what word sounds like the word giraffe, clown, parrot? I don't think so. Origami sayonara by Grinus Campbell. Hello to you. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello. My name is Yoko from Japan. I live in Tokyo. I live here with my haha. My haha is my mother. And here on the tatami mat is Kenichi, my brother. Sometimes we play computer games, or ride our bikes for fun, or play rock, scissors, paper. We call it Jan Ken Pan. Sometimes we practice kado, putting flowers in a bunch. Sometimes we help our haha make the miso soup for lunch. But what we really love to do is fold bright paper squares into the most amazing shapes birds and fish and bears. It's origami that we love. Our chichi, father, taught us to make origami dogs and cats with paper that he brought us. We'll show him what we made today. We'll set them on his chair. So when our chichi comes home, he'll be sure to see them there. I think I hear him at the door. He's hard to miss, you see. He is a sumo wrestler, as big as big can be. Our Chichi is a sumo champ. He's very, very fat. He must have wrestled hard today, not looking where he sat. Uh-oh, I wish he'd looked before. I guess we'll have to make some more. Our origami's frat.
What material do you use when you do origami? Water, snow, origami paper. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it! Congratulations! You just won a brand new reading cap. Click on the cap that you want to take. Click on the left and right arrows to see more caps. You now have two reading caps. There are 30 in all. See if you can collect them all. The Teddy Bear Key. Soda Pop by Glynis Campbell. Soda Pop, Soda Pop, bubbling up. Twelve little bubbles in my cup. Eleven pop, ten pop, nine pop, eight. Bubbles make the Soda Pop great. Soda pop, soda pop, bubbling up. Eight little bubbles in my cup. Seven pop, six pop, five pop, four. When it's gone, may I have more? Soda pop, soda pop, bubbling up. Four little bubbles in my cup. Three pop, two pop, one pop, none. No more bubbles, no more fun. Which is the right way to count backwards from five? Three, four, two, one, five. One, four, three, five, two. Five, four, three, two, one. That's right. Triangles, circles, and rectangles by Mark Beckwith. Hello, my name is Dylan. My teacher said my homework today was to find some examples of triangles, circles, and rectangles. This is going to be hard. Where am I going to find these shapes? Oh well, maybe I will think of some by the time I walk home. Let me see. A triangle has three sides. I've got to think hard about where I can find a triangle. Wow, that pine tree is so much taller than the roof of that house. That reminds me, my mom left a piece of pie for me at home. Maybe I'll think of an example of a triangle there. Hmm. A circle is something round. Let me just check the time on my watch. I can't wait to get home to have a nice cold glass of milk and maybe the whole pie. I hope I can find an example of a circle at home. Hmm. What was the other shape? Oh yeah, a rectangle. That's really going to be a hard one to find. Oh, look, I'm home already. I'll wipe my feet on the mat, open the door, and sit down at the table and have my snack. Maybe then I will think of an example of a rectangle. Let me see. Triangles, circles, and rectangles. Where am I going to find those shapes? Click on the circle, house, gumball, door. That's right! Odd Todd and Even Stephen by Glynis Campbell. Here is Stephen. He likes even. He likes counting two by two. Two, four, six, eight. Even numbers. Make them blue. This is Todd. He likes odd. All the numbers in between. One, three, five, seven. 
odd numbers. Make them green. They will do a show for you. Taking turns, green and blue. Todd, Stephen. Todd, Stephen. Odd, even. Odd, even. One for Todd, two for Stephen. Three for Todd, four for Stephen. Five for Todd, six for Stephen. Seven for Todd, eight for Stephen. Time to take the numbers home. Put them in their pockets. One, three, five, seven. All the odds jump in Todd's. Two, four, six, eight. All the evens jump in Stephen's. Say goodbye. Please applaud. Even Stephen, odd Todd. Which number is odd? Four, three. That's right. The Teddy Bear Tea by Glynis Campbell. Three o'clock. Time for the Teddy Bear Tea. How many guests will there be? Miss Patty Panda is coming alone. That makes one at the Teddy Bear Tea. The Sugar Bear Sisters make two more. One plus two more. That makes three. <coughs> Mr. Murphy Mouse has come a bit late. Three plus one more. That makes four. Harrison Hamster is bringing his wife. Four plus two more. Six are at the door. <coughs> Gertrude Goose and Gabby Gander. Six plus two add up to eight. Two more guests, the Piggly Pair. Make it ten at the garden gate. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Welcome to the table. Gather round. Ten little dishes, ten little cups, ten lovely guests. Wait, what's that sound? <coughs> There's another knock at the cottage door. Goodness me, who could it be? Sammy Skunk has invited himself. No more guests at the teddy bear tea. Hey! How many bears is one bear plus two bears? One, three, two. Correct! The One That Got Away by Glynis Campbell Daddy took me fishing, fishing in the stream. And what do you know? I caught the biggest fish you've ever seen. Can you guess how big my fish was? Can you estimate its size? No? Then let me tell you, you would not believe your eyes. Much bigger than a sandwich. Much bigger than my skates. Much bigger than my lunchbox or my cat or dad's free weights. Much bigger than my backpack. Much bigger than my bike. Much bigger than my school desk or the blankets grandma's like. Much bigger than the family car. Much bigger than our pool. Much bigger than an elephant and bigger than my school. Much bigger than a dinosaur. Much bigger than a tree. In fact, I'd say the fish I caught was bigger than the sea. I would have let you look at it, my fish of great big size. I would have let you take a peek. You would have been surprised. Yes, I'd have let you look at it. But I'm afraid to say, the biggest fish you've ever seen somehow just got away. Where does a fish live? House, forest, ocean. That's right. Who has more? By Glynis Campbell.
Jelly beans, jelly beans, can you guess? Who has more, who has less? You have three beans, I have four. You have less, I have more. Nya, 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 I have more. Nya, 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 nya. Lollipops, lollipops, can you guess? Who has more? Who has less? I have six pops. You have four. You have less. I have more. Nya, 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 nya. I have more. Nya, 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 nya. Bubblegum, bubblegum, can you guess? Who has more? Who has less? You have two sticks. I have four. You have less. I have more. Nya, 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 nya. I have more. Nya, 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 nya. Eat it up, eat it up. Can you guess? Who ate more? Who ate less? You ate zero. I ate twelve. I don't feel so good myself. Blah, 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 blah. Please, no more. Blah, blah, blah. Which hand has more jelly beans in it? Four jelly beans. Three jelly beans. Ha <laughs> ha! You got it!